Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a book review. And the book I'm going to be reviewing is Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. And this is the book that if you've seen my February wrap-up video, I pulled out, um, what I pulled out a sticky note out of my TBR jar with the name of a book and this was it. So this was um, the book that I would be reading for March from my TBR jar. And this is a, um, this is a YA fantasy book. It follows um, three main characters. Leah, Kaden, and Rafi, and this book, um, the main character, Leah, is from the kingdom of Morrigan, and she is supposed to marry the prince of Dalbrek, I think, um, but, um, she doesn't want to marry someone that she doesn't know. She wants to marry for love, and so on her day, on the day of her wedding, uh, she runs away. She runs off with her best friend, Pauline, and they go to this town called Terevin, and that's where um, Pauline grew up, and so they go to that town, and Leah... <clears throat> wants to just live a normal, regular life, um, be a normal girl. Um, she gets a job working at a tavern, and she just wants to be a normal girl and end up marrying someone that she loves and not out of duty or obligation. Um, so that's, that's where she's at. Now, um, little does Leah know that the prince she was supposed to marry, um, he actually goes off looking for her, um, cause he kind of wants to see, he wants to, um, find her and see who is this girl, who is this girl that, you know, had the guts to run off, run away on our wedding day because um, he didn't want to get married any more than she did um, and he thought about running off as well but he never had the guts to actually do it and so he's kind of wondering who is this girl who had the guts to run away and do her own thing so he goes off to find her um, but there's also our third main character in here is the assassin and he um, is sent after Leah to kill Leah. Um, Leah is basically by running away um, and not getting married, that was a betrayal to her kingdom. And so, she, um, and so they sent an assassin after her to kill her, basically, because she betrayed um, her kingdom. And so, um, the assassin and the prince, they both get to um, Tervin about this right around the same time. And so they both, like, they meet each other. And the thing um, with this is that the prince knows who Leah is. The assassin knows who Leah is. Leah doesn't know that either of the guys are the prince or the assassin. And the assassin doesn't know that the guy is the prince. And the prince doesn't know he's met the assassin. So, um, everyone has, like, everyone here 
has their secrets. No one knows who's who except for um, they know who Leah is. And even us as the readers, we don't entirely know um, in the beginning. We don't entirely know who the prince is and who the assassin is. Um, now, some chapters in this book are titled The Prince or The Assassin, and some uh, chapters are titled Caden or um, Rafi, but you don't know if Caden is the prince or the assassin or if Rafi is the prince or the assassin. So you find out in the, in, like, in the middle of the book, you find out for sure who's who, but in the beginning, it's still kind of confusing because you don't know which one is which, and you try to figure it out like I was trying to figure it out, and there would be moments where I was like, okay, he is the assassin for sure. He's got to be the assassin. He's got to be the prince, um, but then there would be moments where I doubt myself and go, but wait, no, I don't think that's something the assassin would do, would he? So is he the prince? And so um, there are moments where you're like kind of doubting yourself and kind of confused as to who's who, but it becomes much clearer um, in the middle of the book. And yeah. So, pretty much, I enjoyed this book. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, only reason it's a 4 out of 5 is because the middle part for me was kind of slow. Um, and I kind of had to push myself through the middle part. But other than that, I really enjoyed this book. Um, I really liked... Leah's character, um, she was a great, strong character. I loved her development, and towards the end, you get to see more of her character. You get to see um, how compassionate she is towards others, um, and just more of her character. And I just completely fell in love with her character by the end of this, so I really enjoyed her. Um, Caden's character, I was okay with them at first, um, but then as um, it went along, the more and more you got towards the end of the book, I was kind of like, I don't really like his character, um, just because there were some moments where I was like, really, dude, uh, really? No, I... I didn't really like his character so much towards the end. Um, but I do think there's more to him than we're seeing in this book. And so hopefully in other books we'll see a different side to him. And hopefully I'll like him better in the future books. Because I, I was hoping to like him in this book. Um... Especially because I was like, I have a nephew named Caden, so I was hoping to like his character because he has my nephew's name. But then I was like, I don't like him so much. But hopefully we see a different side to him because I do think there is a lot more to him than what we're seeing. Um... As far as Rafi's character, I liked him well enough. Um, I didn't love him, but I liked him well enough. He was an okay character for me. Um, some of the stuff in that happens in this book, um, I don't know. For I've heard in other v reviews, I've heard a lot of people say oh my gosh, there's so many twists and turns and the ending just blows your mind away. It's just a huge surprise um, 
that just blows your mind away. But I don't I didn't really get that feeling with this book. Like I did enjoy the ending. I did like um where it was going, but I didn't really feel like it was that huge of a surprise, really. I mean I didn't like nothing that happened. I don't think anything that happened towards the end really um took me by surprise. So I don't know. I guess maybe I just had higher expectations because of what everyone was saying about this book. I think I had really high expectations um about, you know, the ending and it's gonna be something that I'm totally not gonna see coming and it's gonna be way out of left field. Um but I really didn't get that, so um, but I still enjoyed it, nonetheless. Um, it was still a really good read. So, yeah. I will say the ending is a bit of a cliffhanger. Um, it's the, it's a cliffhanger, at least for me. It's more of a, yeah, I do want to read the next book pretty soon. But no, I'm not dying to get my hands on the next one right this second. So, um, for me, like, yeah, it's not like I need the next one right this second. Not where, like, um, Mara Dyer, the Mara Dyer series, those books, I was like, I need the next one right this second. Um... But, yeah, I do, I do want to read the second one soon. And I do have the second book, The Heart of Betrayal. I have it, so, um, hopefully we'll get to it pretty soon. Although, really not sure how soon I'm going to get to it. Only because lately, this past week and a half, I have been binging on Supernatural on Netflix, and I don't know why I haven't watched it before, but just started watching Supernatural, and I'm on season four, and I've been binge watching that show, so I don't know when I'll get to the second book, but maybe as soon as I finish Supernatural. Which I still have a long way to go. Anyway. Um, but yeah. Those are pretty much. Um, my thoughts. You know. I really enjoyed it. Um, like I said. Not quite what I was expecting. I think I was expecting more. But I still. Really liked it. Um, let me know. In the comments below. If you guys have read this what your thoughts were on, um, on this book. Did you like it? Did you not? Um, was it what you expected? Did it actually um, surprise you a lot more than maybe it did me? Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought. And yeah, I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.